नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू अनदर इनफैक्ट वेलकम टू वन ऑफ माय फर्स्ट लाइव एडिटोरियल्स एंड आई एम कमिंग लाइव टुडे बिकॉज द भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा और मंजिल और वट एवर आई कॉलिंग इट जस्ट गॉट ओवर इन शिवाजी पार्क मुंबई एंड द इवेंट जस्ट गॉट ओवर एंड आई थॉट आई शुड शेयर विथ माई व्यूअर्स वॉट आई फेल्ट अबाउट द इवेंट आई वॉच द इवेंट स्टार्ट टू एंड my team is also there uh, right there on ground uh, covering the event and uh, uh, our channel covered the event uh, live too so all of that happened so the point is the reason i am here in front of you talking to you is uh, to actually give you my understanding and my uh, analysis of what happened uh, during the uh, during the entire event what this event was all about and what i expected from this event and uh, what i also want to talk to you about is a very interesting uh, thing that happened in the event a very interesting statement that rahul gandhi made first and then mr malikarjun kharge also reiterated that statement so two of these things happened now the first thing is uh, as usual i have written uh, some points so you know i don't miss out uh, things like uh, i'll tell you who all first spoke let's uh, let's get that clear so you had tejasvi yadav speaking you had stalin speaking you had uh, you had uh, farooq abdullah speaking you had uh, saurabh bharadwaj from aap speaking i thought he spoke well you had uh, dipankar uh, mazumdar uh, mazumdar speaking you had uh, Tej- like i said you had uh, malikarjun kharge speaking rahul gandhi speaking uh, and uh, so on and so forth so you had a lot of people speaking in fact uh, himan soren's wife spoke a lot of speak, people speaking end of the day what they spoke they spoke about uh, fascism and how fascist the government is how fascist bharatiya janata party government is they spoke about ed they spoke about it they spoke about how the government is using et ed it to kind of uh, uh, you know finish up opposition uh, they spoke about how uh, the country is uh, getting into dictatorship they spoke about how narendra modi is uh, is is running this country with a iron fist and 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 kind of crushing democracy they spoke about uh, they spoke a little about uh, electoral bond it was not spoken elaborately they just touched and 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 on the on the subject i guess uh, a lot of people a lot of political parties may not want to talk much about electoral bonds because a lot of them are involved too not in the way possibly bharatiya janata party is but in some form or another to space they spoke about uh, electoral bonds they spoke about uh, they spoke about rahul gandhi it was a rahul gandhi event very clearly rahul gandhi event it was about how rahul gandhi walked and how rahul gandhi did the yatra and how people loved rahul gandhi and what rahul gandhi was trying to achieve and uh, and this uh, was a celebration of rahul gandhi so that was it acha uddhav thakre spoke i thought uddhav thakre spoke very confidently i have never seen uddhav thakre speak so confidently today i guess uh, the some amount of confidence that has come into uddhav thakre possibly because uh, there is uh, it is is it's assumed it is told that mahavikas agarwal is, is doing well in, uh, in in maharashtra so so i'm sorry <coughs> so that confidence i guess came from that uh, uh, that knowledge of <coughs> i'm sorry of him being doing well so that was uddhav thakre and um, you know one very interesting statement before i get into the more serious part one very interesting statement tejasvi yadav made was that you know he referred to nitish kumar as chacha so he said you know my chacha has gone and joined bharatiya janata party but uh, let narendra modi give a guarantee that what my chacha will do next and which party he will go next so that was quite funny and was he said it very well so amongst all the fun and frolic and all of that uh, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, 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 intense uh, talk uh, talk that happened but not one not one unique message that was sent from shivaji park mumbai and i will tell you why i talk about one unique message not one unique message said i talk about it because like most of the leaders said this is mumbai you see message spread faster and wider when you are talking from mumbai from shivaji park 
this opportunity should have been taken to send that one big idea that one big thought that one big offer that india alliance had for the people of india that one big offer that could fight a narendra modi jagarnath that could fight a bharatiya janata party hindutva uh, agenda that could fight what bharatiya janata party is offering or what modi guarantee is all about now apart from criticizing modi and apart from saying that why shouldn't one vote for modi i don't think much was said patch nyay guarantee and all was was there but nothing much was spoken about it is about poor women uh, 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 youth all that is fine there was no clear offer given to the voters or given to the people who were there in 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 rather large numbers let me tell you that huge amount of people were there but that was not offered i was hoping that would come through you see the idea is not about why not one should vote modi that is not the idea i think india alliance should stand on the idea that india alliance should stand on is why should somebody vote for india alliance they have lot of reasons they have lot of ways they have lot of opportunities to create that big idea narendra modi has opened a lot of opportunities for them to create that big idea and to combat narendra modi unfortunately what i wonder is why they are not doing it constantly saying that you know modi is that modi is there is it's only value adds to modi it only gives modi more more social media reach and like rahul gandhi said social media and all is not working don't bother social media social media doesn't uh, doesn't help you because you know everything is controlled by foreign companies so all of us you know we channels whatever we talk you know we don't talk about kisan we don't talk about mandrega we don't talk about uh, 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 unemployment we don't talk about all that is what he said that is what uh, he meant well i wish uh, he sees uh, some of our channels uh, including our boy our humble channel like, you know where i think with or without viewers we spoke about mandrega i almost every day uh, you know so well anyway that besides the point the point that i am trying to make is we were hoping i was hoping that there would be a big idea that there would be something new that uh, rahul gandhi and others would come and talk and that would make a difference i thought today was the best day to make that difference i thought today was that best day to kind of come out and say that listen you know what uh, we are we are we are uh, we are we are we are in the game that was what i thought didn't happen usual talks nothing more now to coming to the important factor the 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 point that i said i will i will talk to you about You see, Rahul Gandhi made a statement saying that a leader, a senior leader, and a popular leader from Maharashtra, which I presume he is hinting at Ashok Chavan. I presume he never mentioned the name. Neither did Malika Arjun, who later on went on to say the talk about the same incident a little more elaborately, which made it a little more clear that it is Ashok Chavan. But I presume it is Ashok Chavan. Rahul Gandhi went out and said that, listen, you know what? Ashok Chavan cried and spoke to my mother. and told my mother sonia ji i don't want to be jailed i am being troubled by bharatiya janata party i have been troubled by them every day i may be jailed i may be you know ed it cbi everybody will be after me and i don't want to go behind bars so i am finally decided i have finally decided to go join bharatiya janata party this is what rahul gandhi said malika arjun kharge went to say a step ahead Malik Arjun Kharge went to say that listen, you know, a lot of people joined him also. Malik Arjun Kharge also went out and said that what is what are you talking about? Why would you why would you leave a party? Why would you leave an ideology just because you know you are you are into trouble and uh, uh, you are into you are into uh, you know you are there is uh, you know they are threatening you with jail and ED and all of that. Why would you want to leave an ideology? Why would you leave a party? So that was what Malik Arjun Kharge said. So this is broadly what. Uh, Uh, the agenda was couple of things yes of course mamata banerji or tmc no representation so that was kind of surprising rest representation was there aap also rep, uh, send uh, uh, sorob bharadwaj aap send sorob bharadwaj he spoke well like i told you he spoke well he he spoke about you know how one should fight and only if you fight will you win and so on and so forth when i said spoke well i mean oratory i don't mean content 
so oratory was good uh, uh, in fact uh, one of the better best oratory that i thought happened throughout was uh, was uh, yogendra yadav who spoke who gave the thanksgiving as a civil society and all of that uh, of course uh, leaders and all were all scattered they were all doing their own pr but uh, yeah uh, 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 he he did his uh, he did his uh, 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 small bit uh, spoke about uh, india he thanked india for being together and and thanked rahul for walking and all of that so all of that happened all of that happened one thing that rahul said is you know we are not going to fight we are not fighting against uh, one party or we are not fighting against one person but unfortunately what really happened was every person spoke about that one party and every person spoke about that one person so again that uh, didn't really add up uh, to to uh, to what rahul gandhi was saying to what i was expecting rahul gandhi to say i will take a question uh, from uh, manu john manu john uh, says mamata banerji falling on her face isn't it a bit suspicious of her uh, uh, bharat jodo naya yatra did achieve well uh, on the uh, end yeah i mean see uh, mamata banerji not coming in one doesn't know why Uh, but that uh, i don't think is any referendum to anything i don't think all that is any referendum to anything one has to see what happens after the election you see there is not there is not going to be no alliance between mamata banerjee and congress uh, in uh, kolkata at least by the uh, in west bengal my apologies for the, uh, as of, as of now there is no uh, alliance that's going to happen so there is no seat sharing alliance now what's going to happen really is here is what happens after uh, the elections what happens if once uh, everybody gets whatever seats they get and then they sit down and it, can they may form a form a government can they think of forming a government is that possible that's what's going to be uh, important that's what's important not really whether uh, you know who comes who doesn't come so many people came what really happened what did they collectively achieve and manu i'll tell you what the reason i say that uh, you see i was expecting more is because i was expecting something concrete manu just by having great uh, speech just by making just standing there and saying we'll fight we'll do that we'll democracy you know Kar- karge said that we're going to change the constitution and you know all of that see all of that we all know we all know that uh, we, there's a problem with uh, with uh, edit we all know what's happening uh, 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 around, across the country we know kavita was picked up uh, yesterday uh, brs and uh, and taken to delhi arvind kejriwal is sent one more uh, summons today we all know it's all happening we saw what happened in electoral bonds we all know but that's not the point the point is if you want to change a voter if you want to get a voter on your side you need to give him what he wants you need to give the consumer what a consumer want not to tell him what you want and you have and you think <clears throat> and all of that that won't work you need to tell a voter what the voter wants and that's precisely what i was hoping and that's precisely what i didn't see today that's the point i was trying to make uh, uh, manu and uh, that's the thing our uh, mainly media downplaying the efforts of opposition parties completely uh, says narsimha kishore see i'll tell you what opposition parties or any party uh, needs to ensure needs to ensure that media is forced to carry them they need to offer they need to do something that media is forced to carry them today's speech was not that today's speech was not that today's uh, this this display was not that there was an event in the middle there was a dance program in the middle i think there's some uh, the song uh, going on now see all of this is not that what is needed is like i said i was expecting a big idea we were expecting i was expecting at least i i was hoping actually that there is one big idea that uh, that uh, that the, these parties come together today and crack and that too in mumbai in shivaji park and that would have spread like a wildfire and always blaming on something else we didn't get what evm media not carrying godi media see all of that is unfair i mean i mean to a certain extent it is right is it wrong no it's not it's right but the fact remains that constantly saying problem a problem a problem a problem at so what what is the solution what are you going to do about it that's uh, that's the point uh, that uh, i was hoping for and uh, yeah uh, uh, this was the this was the two or three big things that happened in today's uh, today's uh, uh, event uh, one is uh, ashok chavan's uh, that statement 
I presume nobody named Ashok Sawan, nobody spoke about Ashok Sawan, but yeah, the direction was very clearly, I think, uh, you know, it was clearly Ashok Sawan who, who they were talking about, you know, that he spoke to Rahul, uh, Sonia Gandhi and said he what, didn't want to be jailed. That was one thing. And Rahul Gandhi uh, saying that, listen, it's not about just one party or one uh, uh, political, uh, one person. I am, we are fighting against the ideology and we are fighting against the entire setup and we are fighting against, he called it a Shakti. Shakti, uh, uh, what he, I think he referred to in his mind was uh, a force. Uh, well, he spoke about uh, Shakti from a Hindu perspective, which is a very different uh, concept. But uh, at least I think, I mean, let's give him his this thing. It was, it was a live program. I think what he, he, he in his mind uh, 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 said was uh, he, he meant a force. So he said, you are fighting a force and that force is what we need to be bothered about. Uh, yes, Alok Niranjan says uh, Tejaswini rocks the party. <laughs> to, to some extent, I do agree to you. Uh, Alok, I do complete. I do agree to you because he spoke well. He spoke well. He, he, you know, has his father's that quirky, you know, humor. Well, he spoke well. Uh, oratory wise, yes, he spoke well. Uh, he sounded confident. Uh, he bought uh, people of. He, he really t- moved uh, the North Indian audience there uh, in Shivaji Park. He really moved. So yes, uh, he spoke a bit in Bhojpuri. All those really, really did make a difference. So yes, I do agree to you. He he spoke. He did spoke uh, speak pretty well, and um, uh, yeah. And uh, there was one more. Uh, I will take. I'll take one uh, question or one point of view. Uh, uh, what do you think about the five nay guarantees? Is what Akash Panchal says. See this five nay guarantee and all. Let us let us see. Let us let us elaborate. See, these are, you know, these these needs to be elaborated. These needs to go down to people. You need to talk to people about that. It needs to be something that the people are so excited about. You know, like we've been talking about the big idea. Akash, the big idea. If you really, really, really want to take the juggernaut on, come with a big idea. Modi versus a big idea. It is not going to be Modi versus somebody. It is not going to be Modi versus Rahul or Modi versus Malik Arjun Kharge or Modi versus whoever for that matter of fact, Mamata Banerjee or whoever. It is going to be Modi versus that big idea. And that big idea till such time that you don't have it, you are going to struggle. You are going to still say fascist, that, EVM, bagare, bagare, bagare. Big idea was missing. Congress, uh, Gopinath Banerjee says Congress have announced some important promises, but vital question is how come they make the last denominator of the country aware of these guarantees? Perfect. This is what I want. Uh, I I want to uh, stress. Uh, go, what Gopinath Banerjee said is absolutely correct. I, I I may have ideas. I may have a lot of good things to talk about, but till such time that I take it to the last common denominator, till such time that a huge event like this, today's event. Beautiful event, Mumbai, Shivaji Park. Today's event was a broadcast. It was a big time broadcast. If you don't use this event, if you don't get people to kind of, uh, you know, uh, use this event to to send your message, like I told you again and again and again, I'm repeating myself, but a big idea. If you don't do that, then kya bacha? Fir what are you talking about? Kab karoge aap? Kab karoge? And then use a media and carry that, didn't carry this, didn't carry is, is, uh, is then. Uh, is not uh, uh, working. Uh, 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 will electoral bond things sway any of the BJP voters away from the party? Narsima Kishore. Narsima, I'll tell you, I was actually, in fact, uh, I've been covering uh, electoral bonds for the last three days. Every night I've been covering electoral bonds. Every night I've been speaking about electoral bonds. And every night I've been getting electoral bonds to you with whatever the various facets are, whatever happening, whatever is uh, what is the data, what is genuine, what is what is not, all that I'm telling you. See, the point is, I don't, I thought electoral bonds would be a game changer. I thought it could turn into the biggest issue of 2024 elections. I thought it could turn into the biggest issue of 2024 elections. But maybe I'm not that, uh, maybe that may not happen. Maybe the opposition will not take uh, that uh, uh, electoral bonds you know, the way I thought the opposition would. I will tell you why. In fact, I'm going to read something out uh, to you, uh, some information to you, which I'm sure you, some of you all may know it, some of you all may not, but all the same. Let me take you through those information. And that is that, uh, you know, uh, according to EC, DMK received 
509 crores from the Lottery King Santiago Martin uh, Future Gaming, uh, which is out of 656.5 crores that uh, DNK received from electoral bonds, 509 crore came from this uh, Lottery King Santiago Martin. He has paid some 1,300 odd crores and out of which 509 crores he has paid to DMK. So the point is now, the, by the looks of it, what I am worried about is, or what uh, what I am not worried about, but the opposition would be worried about is, by, uh, 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 you know, it, it could be, it could be, you know, uh, 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 they, they themselves, they themselves could figure uh, a lot of uh, electoral bonds, a lot of uh, 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 money coming to them. The largest money definitely has gone to Bharatiya Janata Party. But then, like you just, I just told you, this uh, Santiago Martins case. You know, uh, the chances are that uh, you know you they may find uh, these opposition parties may also find such names in their electoral bonds or in their donor list. So they are slightly cautious, and that's something that even uh, one could make out today. They are slightly cautious when they are talking about electoral bonds. So yes, answering your question, uh, I think that's uh, not going to really work out. So that's uh, the point. Is DMK voluntarily declared as we have given uh, that detail? No, no. Naveen, it is DMK voluntarily declared, but it is not just DMK. Every party is supposed to be voluntarily declaring it. Uh, declaring it that is the that is the order that is the ruling and uh, dmk with jd i think dmk and a couple of parties were among the first to declare it bjp has not yet declared their donor list uh, they have not yet declared their donor list jds has declared their donor list uh, uh, farooq abdullah's uh, national conference has uh, de declared their uh, donor list so some parties have declared their donor list dmk has been the first Absolutely. But others will also have to slowly but steadily declare their donor list. So that's uh, that's the that's the story. That's how it is. Uh, it's going to be. So, yes, answering that question. Uh, the only party will disclose their donors. Yes, uh, not only party. Like I said, these are the other parties who also disclose, but yeah, they are among the first. Uh, that's uh, what it is, uh, except for some abuses. I don't see uh, many... Uh, many uh, so more questions a lot of them earlier on i'll try and answer so do you expect the media coverage favored india because uh, without mass media the narrative will not travel to places uh, every website tv digital uh, you have bjp ads uh, where is india's pr see i'll tell you what go go to my my our channel go to go to the channel that you're on go to the channel that you frequent go to hw news network we've covered it live We've covered it live. Watch tomorrow. We've got interviews, the, the, the local shows. They're all on, on, on edit. We are doing it. See, it's not that media is not covering. And what Rahul Gandhi says is not right. I mean, that, uh, you know, uh, digital media doesn't cover or, or social media uh, doesn't cover. All that is not entirely correct. The, the, the digital media does cover. Uh, I don't know much about uh, television media. I don't know much about mainstream media. Maybe they don't. But... I still will tell you, to be very honest with you, Rahul, this is an honest opinion. I will tell you that digital media and a lot of us uh, in digital media do risk our our side, ourselves. See, Rahul, let me ask you a question. See, you say media is the fourth pillar of uh, the, uh, the democracy. Tell me what, uh, what privilege or what protection does media have? When they raided my office, when the IT raided my office, my phones, my thing, everything was taken. 52 hours, we were raided. Now, we don't sit and cry like politicians, but the fact remains that it is a fact. But she said, yet I am here in front of you, talking to you, exactly like what I spoke uh, before uh, 2020. I, my tone or my tenor or, or, or nothing about our channel has changed. We were uh, before 2020 20, and after 2020 is the same. Now, likewise. Likewise, there are a lot. I, it's not unique to HW News Network. I should say a lot of uh, digital channels, a lot of channels are absolutely uh, uh, bang on. They, 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 they try and talk the truth, whether they get paid for it, whether there is money, whether the YouTube pays them, whether there is uh, uh, enough viewers. We talk. We talk. You see, but the point is, let me also tell you, Rahul, in the same breath, let me also tell you. You see, there are times when we speak about Manrega and there is no takers. Nobody, nobody views us. Nobody is bothered about Manrega, Rahul. That is also a fact. We speak about that. 
and uh, 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 we speak about youth we speak about unemployment we speak about uh, labor participation we speak about all these issues but there is no takers around there is no takers to that there is no views uh, under our uh, videos ha, you talk about something sensational boom your views goes up that also is a fact today industry views news like entertainment so like you like a rock music or a, or, or 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 soft music soft rock or or classical indian music or hindustani classical music or karnataka classical music like you like a genre even news is something like that today so uh, it is picked depending on what kind of trending topics you are talking about so a lot of news channels try to talk on trending topics rather than try to talk on topics that pertains that affects your life we have been speaking about this i have spoken about this a lot of time lot of other people have spoken about this again like i said not just me a lot of people have spoken about it point is uh yeah that's 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 the issue and yeah uh, mainstream television media may not cover uh, india alliance as much as they should but digital does uh, and uh, digital will continue what india alliance should try and do is as an advertising professional i will let me tell you this also india alliance should try and ensure that they create enough opportunities for at least the media which is covering them to cover them more they should create enough opportunities which i i don't see why they are not creating so that's the point i will say uh, and uh, that's the thing uh, uh, last question i'll take for the day i have crossed my time limit it is 26 minutes now sir i think india alliance should start saying few controversial things uh, other than msm uh, attention uh, in order to get msm's attention and uh, use platform see nasima it's not about complicated it's controversial thing and all that it is things that matter to the people there are lot of things that is mattering to the people there are lot of things it is not that everything is hail and hearty there are lot of things that matters to the people education unemployment being unemployment being one of them lot of things that matter health being one of them jobs people are not getting jobs it's a it's a big problem so it is not about talking about controversial things it's about talking about relevant things emphatically talking about relevant things and talking about problems with a solution just by saying that there is no employment a channel can get away with it a news channel can get away with it my job is to is to report to you that there is no em em employment opportunities that is my job my job is to report to you my job is not to come and give an uh, solution that's not why i am here i am just there as a postman to keep you informed the problem the solution has to be bought by politicians by lawmakers and that's what they are expected that's what they are expected which somewhere down the line uh, 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 it has not happened that's the point uh, i wanted to make uh, like i said thank you so much for watching me uh, i will try and do this kind of live uh, at least on a sunday uh, till i meet you next time for my editorial uh, that's tomorrow at 10 pm take care namaskar